As a coach, I'm always telling our clients to climb efficiently and use technique. And sometimes just pulling is easier and maybe it is more efficient. But is there a way of telling? Can we climb a route and see if climbing, just locking and pulling like a lot of people do, is actually more efficient than using technique? Today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a, a moxie to see how much oxygen is in my muscle, the belly of my forearm whilst I'm climbing. Okay, so like I said, this is the Moxie monitor. This is the muscle saturation or oxygen saturation device that we're gonna use. I'm gonna use on my forearm. Now, this is where we can't lie. I'm gonna climb this 7A or 11D and I'm gonna climb it in a very stereotypical way. And the way I'm gonna do it first is by locking and reaching, climbing defensively like a lot of people do. Then I'm gonna come down, rest. I'm gonna do it the second time using technique and what we're gonna look at is how much more tax my muscles are, I'm not using good technique compared to technique. Maybe we'll debunk that technique is worthwhile and just pulling is easier, we'll see. But yeah, this is gonna be strapped to my forearm and we'll record the data live so there's no lying. So I've basically been bouldering for maybe two or three hours. So my muscle oxygen isn't amazing, but we're starting at about 56%. Maybe fresh, it would be like 70, maybe 80% but we're gonna see what happens now, how low that goes when I'm locking off and climbing inefficiently without good technique. Okay, so what I want you to look out for is the style of climbing. Yes, I'm getting my hips close to the wall like this, but I'm locking off. On every move, I'm like inside edges, knees in, or, or at least some of the moves, bum out, but lock off. I call it kind of like this defensive style of climbing, and like a Usain Bolt. I'm locking in and reaching up. And yes, it's natural for my muscle oxygen to drop, but, it's the way that one, you can't recover. So if I'm not shaking and lots of climbers don't shake and they think it, they can't get recovery and they climb much slower than this. So this is quite a fluid pace, but ultimately you'll see that whilst I'm climbing in this locked off strenuous style of climbing, I go down to here. You can see that it goes down to 16.9. So it's not catastrophic by any means, but on an 11D and a fairly short wall, then it's it's quite low and let's see what it's like in comparison to the other climb. Okay, there we go. My heart rate was a 130, I'm on 40. I'm already in recovery, but we'll see what that went to. It's at 29, but it's bouncing back up now. And then I repeat it using technique. We'll see if it goes lower and I'm specifically doing this way first so people can't say, oh, you were more tired when you did it with pad technique. So I'm gonna be more tired when I'm doing it with good technique. So this time I'm gonna try and use a little bit more technique. Maybe I'll shake. There's something we didn't see people do a lot. They just like muscle through, lock off like I was. And then let's see how low I go. My starting point is basically the same. Last time was 56, I think, yeah, 56. So we'll see, let's go. So this time I want you to look at the fluidity, the fact that I'm driving my hips, I've got some rotation with my ankles, I'm trying to keep my hips close to the wall, but I'm also trying not to initiate the moves by pulling. So I can obviously pull, and that's a, a just a byproduct of climbing. But as a result of this, and the fact that I climb more fluidly, and I do shake out, um, and I've got rotation like here, you'll see the number comes down more slowly. Um, but also the the total drop is what we're looking at. So again, I definitely made some errors on this climb and probably could have climbed it in a, a more fluid and better style. I definitely could have shaken up more, but the lowest point was 23.9. Who'd have thought it? Technique works. You have to listen to us coaches. I hope you found that interesting. I did actually, I had no idea what the levels were gonna be and I definitely didn't climb the route with good technique. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more content. Please remember to click like and subscribe. We'll be back soon.